Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Thursday Thoughts at Three with Susan and Jackie. Hi, everybody. This is Susan Gray, creative transformational expert and healing arts professional. My department is hard, hard because I people's drawings and I help them see their subconscious and help them relieve what keeps them feeling paralyzed, powerless, panic, and in pain. And I prepare them to a healthier lifestyle with a mended heart. The nasty word D for divorce. I said, that's actually what I do. I take on the hard work and I help people get through a process that uh, requires a lot of help outside of the legal system, outside of the financial system. They help getting through to get out of their emotional brain and into their thinking brain so they can make the right decisions for the rest of their life and move forward in the best way possible. This is Jackie Atchison, certified divorce coach and founder at Better Path to Divorce. And we are so pleased to introduce our guest today, Christina Heike. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for having me. That's amazing. I look forward to two of you. Do. Christine, why don't you tell us? I'm going to do a, like a, a one second bio and then you can help us along to tell everybody what you do. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. First of all, I'm proud to say that we have you here, and I want to thank you for your time. And Christina Heike is an international trauma and holistic health expert who seeks to inspire and empower her clients to discover the past versions of themselves and to begin living cloudless days, key to a peaceful world. She synthesizes science and spirituality and holds an MS degree in special ed educational psychology and science of sports and is a German certified naturopathy and I, I don't know how to pronounce that are you naturopathic and Ayurvedic practitioner and a uh, yoga teacher since over 30 years and a new decision therapist since 20 years now and the new decision therapy is really the core of my work which is a trauma release uh, modality that is really releasing trauma from a cellular level and um, helps you to be really free to be who you truly are and live the life you're, you're waiting for. That's great. So tell us a little bit about, you know, about why you chose to go into uh, this trauma healing. Oh, my God. Well, like anything I learned, uh, I, I had my own healing journey journey or I have it you know because we never like in my in my world you never stop growing and that's you know includes healing so uh, it was my own healing journey that uh, brought me to learn yoga meditation um, Tibetan Buddhism naturopathy and new decision therapy and new decision therapy was um, on my search for finding something that really kicks butt with old patterns and gets you out of like, oh my God, I'm doing it again. What's going on, right? Into like being free to choose which path to take and how you want to live your life. Mm. I have a question for you. Go okay, for it. I'm going to ask for myself, and I know I'm asking on behalf of a lot of people as well. Our days are very frenetic. I mean, I'm no longer a working mother. I'm a working grandmother, mother, have a job, I help my husband, I love to cook, I have meals, our days, we wake up and the pace is huge. And if it isn't, we have such expectations like we miss something, we're gonna try harder tomorrow. And yet I know how important yoga is and meditation and what it does to calm our systems. For somebody who needs help taking a baby step, what are a couple of the baby steps you would suggest for me or for anyone else who has this crazy pace in life? to slow down a little. Can you help me? I sure can. Let me just rephrase a little. Like the new decision therapy is very different from yoga or meditation or something you have to do on a daily basis to maintain or regain your balance, right? In a stressful world. New decision therapy clears out your past blockages, um, stuck energy in your emotional body, ancestral trauma, and that means like your maintenance job on a day-to-day -day basis is much smaller mm. because you're not maintaining all that luggage and all that baggage you're carrying. You're just maintaining the groove. Yeah. And so um, 
On my website, there is a uh, inspired breathing manual that people can get for free with three really beautiful breathing exercises that reconnect you with your body because that's really key. Mm. We always think we can solve problems in our head. No, not really. Mm. You know, we're often like, as you know, circling thoughts, trying to solve something and are getting like uh, freaked out by the minute. Um, so reconnecting with our body and emotions is key in order to, um, to find new outlooks, of new course. ways in life. And so one of the, uh, for example, morning rituals could be a seven minute meditation. Seven minutes, set your alarm, just uh, sit, close your eyes, focus on your breath, and, um, and sit. Who's not into sitting can do walking meditation. Awesome. Mm. Put a song on, like your favorite song, dance, and dance from inside out and not for someone else. You know, dance for yourself and with yourself. There, there are many small ways of, you know, having this connection with yourself because that's, that's what we all need, really. You know, we, the self-love, the self-care, the self-connect. And uh, from there, you know, anything, the trauma healing, the divorce, anything goes easier if you're connected with yourself and not pulled in a thousand directions. You know? I love what you said about dancing because, you know, with, I don't think I ever, I mean, we love to dance. It, my endorphins go crazy. I love it. But I never thought about it the way you just explained it. Thank you. Such a great, and I know right. you're so into we the do. arts. We do the arts. I do the arts. I do dance and movement. So I totally agree. That's an act of meditation. That's what we call act of meditation, where you're, you know, you're not thinking about other things, but you're being present in what you're doing in your activity. So that's also very healing. Exactly. And that's basically what we want for our life. Be present as much as possible. And that's you know, where, where, again, the new decision therapy comes in. If you release your blockages, you're ready to be present because not so much is holding you back and is pulling on you, right? So um, you're totally right. The whole life could be like a quote-unquote meditation or just being present and mindful in, in what you do. And that can be like all kinds of fun stuff as well. It's not just sitting on a cushion. You know, the right. real thing happens when you do it in, in real in real time in life. Right. Even they say when you're eating, you should be mindful. Don't do anything. Yes. Eating. Everything we yes. do when you're driving, just focus on what you're doing. So yes. So Thich, Thich Nhat Hanh, um, the Zen uh, Buddhist, uh, famous, over 90 now, amazing, amazing person. I was at one of his retreats in southern France. Oh, really? Um, we, were, we were advised to chew each bite. 60 times and really focus on the inside of our mouth and our palate and everything. And it's, it's an like amazing experience washing your dishes, do it mindfully. You know, it can, it can be also meditative. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny because I was just reading an article. I had some time to spend by myself and I had a shop and I was in my head in the mall, interestingly enough. And when I sat down to eat, I was reading an article because I'm very big on eating and health and exercise, how to truly get mindful about eating. So it's so interesting mm -hmm. that you just brought that up. So I'm going to share something they just read, which was amazing. This coach actually said the best way to learn how to be mindful and about your eating is start off by chewing a raisin. A raisin <laughs> is a nugget of, that's this big. And spend time with that raisin in your mouth, through right. your palate, on your tongue. And it's like, wow, how but, great was the raisin? You know, that's a, that's a famous John Cabot. And he does that um, in yeah. mindful exercise using the raisin uh -huh. where you feel it. What does it feel like? Does it smell like? What does it taste like on your lips? And then chewing it and really really owning the adjectives that you feel. And that becomes Absolutely. mindful using all of your um Senses. Yeah, senses and that's being present when you do that absolutely so that's Christine, right you are amazing so we're going to ask you where can people reach you and do you have any offers you can give out so our audience can reach you and get to know you and what you can yeah. do to make them whole <laughs> well just helping them shed the layers that keep them from being who they truly are and living you know their life freely and happily.
So um, New Decision Therapy NYC.com is my website. Um, maybe maybe later on under the video we could put like the I, Facebook link and the phone yeah. number. It's too much now. I think like people are like. What? What? Put it on my website. We'll put it on your website and your email so people can reach you. Okay, awesome. And um, I gonna offer the first three callers or the first three people who reach out. Uh, mm -hmm a complimentary 30 minute consultation to see what their roadmap to you know feeling good in their skin and better health inside out is going to be that's great. that's great well thank you so much you've been thank so, you so much for having me <laughs> perfect example is actually her son is in the car and they're taking a walk on the beach that's right that's right we're by, and, and the weather is magnificent right and, so, he, yeah. and he's patient waiting for you, mom. That's that's, <laughs> that's, that's And he's doing a good job. And here, like, the, oh, my camera somehow is not working. Can you? Yeah, can it's, you stuck. My, it's stuck, but we hear you. We hear you. Oh, my <laughs> God. So this is really the stuck picture. Great. Well, <laughs> hey, you know, as long as um, everything comes across, awesome. Okay. Thank, thank you for having me, ladies. Thank you so much. Go enjoy. Go enjoy your son and the beautiful weather. We will. Same to you. Much love. Bye. Bye. Thank you, honey. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. And to Bye. everybody out there watching, um, you can reach uh, Jackie and me, meet Susan at artmensheartz at gmail.com. Check out my website, artmensheartz.com. And of course, uh, both Jackie and I offer 30 minutes consultations as well. Mm -hmm. So reach out to us. We'd love to hear if you have, want our private message, you want to tag us. But don't forget, the first three people who email Christina will get a free consultation with her. Absolutely. And I am, again, work with the divorce, the bad, bad word, but not so bad because life is short. And I'm here to help you figure out if you want to try to give it a last shot, how we can do this, how we can work together, or how we can get through the process in the best way possible, because I am the better path to divorce. And this has been my purpose and passion in life. And uh, I also offer a 30-minute complimentary consultation. And I want to leave a thought for everybody today. I actually was listening to Mel Robbins. It's just been one of those days in my head, and I'm learning so much. And she had a great message that I think is instead of looking at everything we have to do in our day, and again, the frenetic pace, uh, as I have to do this and I have to do that, it's a piece of negative energy. Look at it is I get to. I always get to. And think about how those words just <clears throat> change your outlook and how your head moves in the direction of positivity and gratitude. Steam of gratitude, you know. Jackie's been really great. She's been part of my 21 day gratitude yes. uh, um, challenge. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, I found it very interesting because, you know, it's not about, um, I think with gratitude, it's not only just showing kindness, it's also a way of being forgiving to yes. somebody that you, that hurt you. Because we have to always remember right. that these people teach us a lesson. And so once we realize that we were, these people put in our life, to teach us this lesson and we get the lesson, we have to thank them. And then there's a lot of anger that goes with that when you when you appreciate what they've done for you. Forgiveness. And that's Forgiveness. how you move on. And kindness. And even just writing these little notes that I prompt people to write to certain people. I mean, it, that shares kindness and, and they're appreciative of everything you tell them. So keep doing it, guys. And uh, maybe next time you'll join us on the challenge. Yeah. So, guys... Have an absolutely wonderful day. We will see you next Thursday. And if anybody is interested in coming on as a guest, again, please reach out to Susan or myself. Probably Susan. She's the uh, better one. She's a little younger. Either one. With all this. <laughs> <laughs> I have to add that. I am not as good at her. I, 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 I twisted her arms, guys. I just did. Her. So, guys, have a fabulous day. Go out and enjoy this beautiful weather. Per Christina. Yes. Dance. Dance. Just enjoy. Like no one's watching. Like no one's watching. Peace out, everybody. Yeah. Take care. Bye.